Ah, shit. Damn, sorry. <laughs> what a way to start the stream. Um, I forgot to put my uh, my thumbnail. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, well. Kind of annoying, but it's fine. Okay, so let's start with a classical game. And wait for a pairing. Um, okay, so I have my tournament coming up on Friday. First round is on Friday, so coming up fairly soon. Um, my online ratings have really nosedived lately, but what can I do other than just keep trying? Keep grinding away, try to learn something here and there, right? What else can I do? But it is frustrating when it seems like, like I haven't really made much ground. Oh yeah, that's what I, I keep meaning to do that every time and then I always get a game started. So my last personal high on classical was getting close to two years ago, July 12th, 2022. Um, so I have, have not have not come close to beating that in, well, I'll just say that, yeah, I haven't beaten that in, in two years, almost two years. Hello, Jeff, how's it going? For rapid, I think that's even longer. Well, almost, almost, ex oh, yeah, actually today's what, the 24th? Yeah, it's three, three days to two years. So three days short of two years since I last set a new person of best on rapid. So I'm telling you, these past two years have been rough. Um, having I've never I've never been east. I've only I've only ever been west coast of North America. Oh no, that's not true. I went to Florida. I went to Florida before, but um, no, I've never been. I've never been to New York. And I'm not, I don't think I would have a blast playing at the parks. From what I hear these days, you have to pay to, you have, you, you have to pay to play them. And if you win, they keep the money still. So <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not going to pay to have the pleasure of playing somebody in the park. Um, plus I'm terrible at blitz. Okay. Uh, and then for, for speaking of blitz, my last person to best there was three years ago, over three years ago. Although I did come close to beating it not too long ago. Yeah, in December, I came close to beating it. Um, and Bullet, I, I don't play very much Bullet. So last point of best there was actually 11 months ago. A bit over 11 months ago. I thought it was longer than that. Yeah. But we continue to wait for a game here. Wait, how come it's not showing in there? It removed me. How dare it? It removed me from the lobby. Annoying. Anyways, I, I recreated my game. Some of them will play you for free. Let me find one. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't I don't like confrontation like that. It's not really my thing. Okay, got a game. Ooh, I played this person thrice before and I won every game. If I show this, does it show? Somewhat. It's cut off a little bit, but um, yeah, I played them three. When, let's see, last time I played them, it doesn't say, but anyways, we have a game. We have a game. White, seems like I've had many whites lately. I, I'm over overdue for, for black. I'll probably get a long string of black soon. Because, yeah, most of the, okay, so here we play C3 first because... 
we uh castling is 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 uh i just had this uh game in a blitz game this is this is winning for white yeah so i was as i was about to say castling is too slow c3 is is uh uh, threatens d4, which is the way I played. And I forget what the eval is here, but it's like, <clears throat> I don't know if it's plus two, but it's thereabouts, like maybe plus one and a half or so. So no disrespect to my opponent here, but I'm a little surprised that he's rated 1993 and uh, falls into this. Then again, in in was it the last tournament I played in? It it was so the tournament I played in February. Yeah, last month. I had a similar position. It might have even been the same position, and for some reason, <coughs> excuse me, for some reason, I castled um, instead of playing d four, uh, which is weird because online. I, I know this very well, but for some reason I castled. I think it was just the 3D aspect just messing with my head. Now it's important. Okay. Interesting. Queen's Island. So I could castle or, or CD. Let me think. So if I castle, yeah, I should be able to castle. They probably are equally good. Let's see, castles, knight takes e5. And then knight takes e5. I'm not 100% sure if castling is, is as good. Um, cause castles 95, 95, he might have D six. So I think, I think I might need, I might go CD here. Yeah. Cause, cause castles knight D five. And if after knight D five, if I go rookie one, Then he just plays d6. I mean, that's probably still good for me, but uh, I'm thinking cd is better here. So c hmm, interesting. Queen e7. Um, C D Cause I'm wondering about Queen D Queen D five after that. So C D knight takes D four. Knight takes D four. And then Queen takes E five. I guess I could go bishop E three there. It's messy though. I might this is my warm-up game. It's my first game. It's not a warm-up game. It's my first game, but my brain's not warmed up. Yeah, so CD, knight takes D4, knight takes D4, queen takes E5, check, bishop E3. Is messy, though. It's, it's kind of messy. If CD, D6... Then I just castle, which looks good. The two moves might actually just transpose. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm looking at castling again. So castles, knight takes d5. Oh, wait, what am I, what is my smoking? I could just go cd there then. Okay, so castles, knight takes, knight takes e5, 
CD. Knight takes f3, queen takes f3. I'm on two pieces there. Yeah, I will just castle here. But I, I think both moves are fine. Okay, that's not good. I, I'm, yeah, my, my brain is not, it's not warmed up. <laughs> it's not warmed up. Okay, chat says, I don't like confrontation, but it's not. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna. <laughs> they will shake my hand. Well, I, I would, I don't know. It doesn't really seem that interesting to me. I mean, I, I play over the board enough. You know, there's lo there's a couple of crappy local clubs, and then, um, okay, so we took on C3, and I go to enough tournaments. Um, well, I, I think I take the knight. I think I take the knight. That's not... Oh, it's kind of interesting, though. Yeah, no, I'll take the knight. Okay. Yeah, I, I, it's funny that uh, Queen E7 kind of made, gave me pause. Okay, um, well, I, I think I just take on on B, on B2. I don't want to take the queen, because then he queens. Oh, wait, no, I, I do just take his queen. It's check. No, it's not check. Holy shit. Uh, what's going on with my, what's going on with my head? Why did I think this was check for half a second? This is not check. I'm not promoting to a queen on the seventh square. Yeah, I am not warmed up. I am not warmed up. Well, thanks for the sub. Diego, I haven't seen an alert uh, when I've streamed on YouTube. That's the first time I've seen that. Interesting. Now, I don't, he might not be in the stream. It just means that somebody named Diego subscribed. <laughs> but yeah, because I when I moved over from Twitch, I haven't seen anyone subscribe. Anyways, sorry, my brain. Yeah, my brain's not warmed up here. Now, I, for a split second, I thought if I took the queen, it's somehow check. Obviously, that's not so. So I think we just take on, on b2 here. Otherwise, he regains a queen um, and takes my rook. So I lose a rook um, effectively. I'm just giving a quick peek at... Um, I will say that taking on g7 is interesting as well. Just because like I, I'm going to take on b2, but I'm just looking at other ideas here because I'm because I'm winning here. But if I take on g7, this is interesting as well. But he's going to end up winning the queen and for the rook. Um, and what else did I want to entertain before I take on b2? I don't think anything else. Okay. But yeah, you can tell I am not warmed up because I'm seeing ghosts and <laughs> and uh, yeah. The older I get, the more I need to warm up. Oh, hello, Diego. Oh, the blindfold ones. I think it might be harder if you try to follow along with your eyes closed because you don't get to dictate what you think about. Right, you, you have to follow my monologue, which so it's probably harder to follow along in a blindfold. Okay, he resigns here. Okay, yeah, he just misplayed that opening. Um, whoops. Yeah, so I'll load up a tournament game. For, so from from the last tournament I had, I'll show that game here if I can find it. Yeah, it's here. Um, so it might get cut off. Um, let me try to show. It's going to show CPT in a second. Well, maybe it doesn't, but I'm going to show that game. I mean, I have a whole video of it, so I'm not going to show it in detail, but it's the same opening if I can find it. Oh, it's a different scene. It's this one. And then... Here it is. Yeah, so... So this was from almost a month ago exactly. 
And as, so, see, same opening, except, no, it's a little different, right? Did I, did I, no, no, it's the same thing. It's the same opening, yeah. And, but I castled here instead of playing d4, <laughs> which, which bothers me, because again, I've had this position so many times, um, but I castled, and I could have just been winning had I played d4. I did win the game eventually, but um, I could have won it so much easier had I just played d4. Okay, so getting back to the game. Yeah, I agree, amateur, that <laughs> the calculation was bad. I'm not, I'm, brain isn't fully working yet. Okay, but other than, other than, um, I mean, I, I did play well. It was just, uh, I was seeing ghosts left and right. So I think, I think I probably played that perfectly, but let's see. Yeah, so no inaccuracies. Okay, so off to a good start, but my opponent gave me the free win. Okay, play another, and we are set for black. I mean, I keep getting white. Oh, there we go, quick pairing. Okay, I played this guy before. He won twice, I won once. Go to the right scene here. Okay, bird. The bird is a word. Ba 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 ba. Bird, bird, bird. The bird's a word. What do I play here? I always forget. Is it G six? I think I do a triangle setup, and I often end up putting my bishop outside of the pawn chain. Oh God, I already forget what I play here. Yeah, I'm gonna go G six. Or is it Knight F six? Okay, I can't remember. I I, I forget move two. So, so maybe even my openings won't be on it today. Hello, MD Gaming. Um, it's chest space worth it? Mm, it depends. Uh, mostly no. Um... It depends how much of an opening fiend you are. My opponent just wrote, play your best. Maybe because some people, they don't like it when I say good luck. Like I wrote good luck. They don't like, the, and then sometimes they write, chess isn't about luck. G good skill. So I think that's why he, he wrote, play your best. But I mean, come on, it's just, it's just words. Okay, yeah, well, let's just complete the pink kettle. Yeah, I forget what I play against the bird. I, I'm pretty sure I play a triangle setup. But then I always wonder, like, I don't want this bishop within that pawn chain, like a bad French or like a French period. So then I, I often end up playing the bishop to f5. But I, I need to, I'll have to check my notes again. I think maybe I do just leave it within this triangle. But um, I just can't remember. Just can't remember. So I'm not going to overthink it. Since I can't remember, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to play principled moves. Um, I will just reevaluate if I do want to put that bishop outside the pawn chain. Could even trade it off, but I'm going to keep it. I'll keep it as a bad one. I mean, it works for French players, right? Now, where do I want this knight? Do I want an f6 or? Well, I want a triangle setup, right? So that doesn't really answer my question. Um, hello, bot one. How can you improve on puzzles? Take your time with them. Don't don't solve it until you don't don't play a move until you've fully solved it. Don't rush. I think too many people rush the puzzles. Yeah. So I don't know. Knight f six or e six. Maybe I'll play knight f6. But yeah, I have the the bird has always perplexed me because uh, I get it so infrequently. 
that I forget. I forget the ideas. I forget everything. But opted for f6, even though it covers my fianchettoed bishop. Um, I don't know. I didn't really have a reason for it. It's faster to castle. That's one reason. So I don't play e6 and then knight e7. It takes one move longer to castle. I just want to castle and get c5. I know I said triangle setup, but the way white has played, I might I might end up playing c5 to make a bid for the center. Yeah, I'm just going to castle here. And again, not overthink it. Okay, so... Yeah, the whole triangle idea. I mean, I think that's what I play against the bird. Like, I think that's what's in my repertoire, but it seems passive. Okay. But I, I this is my break, right? Like, if I don't play c5, how am I breaking the position? I mean, he's got a bind. Well, it's not technically a bind, but he's controlling e5. So I, I do think this is where I have to break. Because, yeah, again, what, what else am I going to do? So I'm scrapping the whole triangle setup idea. And um, maybe I'll play b6 and put the bishop on b7 and then c5. I think I might go for that type of thing. Now, how do I support c5? I don't normally feed Keto on the king side, so I'm not really sure how to play this. I, I mean, I could, I could play b6 and then c5. Maybe I'll do that. Quick blender check and then and then play it out. Okay. So if knight e5, I don't know. It's kind of a pain. It is a pain. But I'll have to, I don't know. I'll probably have to play knight bd7 at some point. But yeah, b6. Could maybe even trade off my light squared bishop because that's his good bishop. That's actually, I like that idea. I like that idea. And that's giving me Zurich 1953 vibes. I, it's not like it's they only did this in Zurich 1953, but some of the older games, uh, just this idea, just a simple idea of just trading off. I mean, this is not a bad bishop for us, but that's that's his only good bishop. In fact, okay, oh, okay. Hopefully, he's not watching my stream. Um, I always say that, but it's just funny because as soon as I finish my sentence, then they, okay. So, well, yeah, I'm a little bit scared to talk now, but um, well, I played b6. I should probably just finish this thought off, flesh this idea out, and then still just play c5. Do I want to prepare it with knight bd7? Probably it doesn't matter. I might though. It feels weird to not finish development. Yeah, I, I get paranoid sometimes that people are watching, like my opponent is watching the stream. Because it happens, like, uh, it happens a lot. People say, oh, I'm, I'm watching your stream. They'll say it right in the chat room here. They, <laughs> like, they don't even think it's wrong. They say, I'm watching your stream. Now, if he was watching the stream, well, then he got that whole idea from me of, I mean, I, I could still insist upon this, but like I could play queen c8 and I don't even know if he has time to deal with that. Queen c8, bishop a6. I don't know if he has time to prevent it. I don't think he, I don't think he does. So that's interesting. Then again, what did I just play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's interesting. But it it, it costs a lot of tempi to make that happen, right? Because I, I played bishop b7, 
then queen c8, then bishop a6. But it is possible. Okay, he just gave me a, a beautiful square. I can take that at any time, though. No rush, but that's going to be a nice juicy square for me. But yeah, this queen c8, I, I like the idea. Then again, this bishop is is still pretty good where it is. So I don't I don't know if I should spend it all that time, but it's an idea in the future. A very nice idea. Yeah, I think I'm going to continue with knight bd7, c5. Plus, I help deal with knight e5 immediately. Okay, I, I don't think I need to be worried about this. I think I can take. I'm not really scared of the sacks. Like, he, he does he does have something, though, actually. <laughs> um, okay, let's calculate that, because that actually does look a little scary. h5, knight h5, rook h5, gh, knight g5. Okay, well, he moved the knight. No, that would have been interesting. I Probably I, I couldn't have taken it. Um, okay, so here I think maybe c5. Now I don't, let's just re-examine re h5 here because there's, there's now lots of, yeah, this, this is now starting to become a bit of a concern. But with his knight not able to pop in to g5 anymore, this might not be as strong. So knight h5, rook h5, gh, queen h5, knight f6. Then I'm, I'm covering mate, but yeah, I don't know. I, uh, h5. h5 is scary. Maybe I take on, maybe I take on e5 here. And I can pop in here. What if, what if I go knight h5 first? That's kind of interesting. Knight h5, king f2. Because then, then g4 is coming. Yeah, that, that's in, that's interesting, hey? Okay, yeah, but I'm thinking 95. I'm assuming, he, I guess he could do it either way. Uh, but, uh, okay, let's let's say, let's say he goes DE. And then knight h5, g, no, not g4, knight, knight h5. Um, Yeah, then I, then I can play c5, although, but he, he can get his rook here. It's going to be hard with his bishop. Yeah, I think I'm going to take here. And then knight h5. Oh, no, I forgot about king f2 still, or just the queen even. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. That's kind of annoying. De, knight h5, king f2. It's very annoying. Mm. Yeah, I might not have, I might not put it on H five. Actually, what about e4? For some reason, I thought I couldn't put it on e4, but yeah, maybe knight e4. Knight e4 is looking pretty good. Knight e4, knight e4, de. Bishop, like Bishop C4. It's a, it's a position. 
It's an uh, yeah, I don't know. Like that's that's interesting. I mean, he still has G four. Like he still has a bit of an attack there, but. Yeah, I might go knight e4 here. This this is uh I don't like this after king f2. Oh, yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm going to play here. If knight takes then I can take this bishop. Okay. Hmm. But my yeah, my dark sword bishop is very restricted. Then again, so is his. Okay, yeah, that h4, h4 was interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I do wonder earlier that queen c8 idea I had. I just don't know if it was worth the extra tempo. But yeah, I could have, I could have exchanged these two bishops. Okay, so, I mean, he, he does have a pawn storm, which he can't do immediately, but he can trade and then play g4. So, knight e4, de, bishop c5. Cost him a tempo to make that happen. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, that's a little uncomfortable for me. He's, he's, he's got a lot of pawns on the king side. Yeah, that's that's uncomfortable. I'm not sure. C5 or E6? C5. And... Um, G four Queen C seven H five Yeah, yeah, I don't I have I don't really have I don't have anything. Like I my bishops are just locked out. That doesn't look so good. I think I can defend, but White has all the play. Okay, he's 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 scared of he was scared he's scared of that fork. Okay. Um, may, I wonder if I reroute this because then he has to go back here. Actually, his only move. And then I can then I can pop into here, knight g three, queen f two. And I I could reroute myself. But I don't really have anything good after that. So I could also take on c three. Not sure what I think about that. Then I have c five. What I like about that is this is a bit more like this pawn is more fluid. I can maybe break things better. It's not stuck on e4. So I, I think I might ch I may think I might do that. Just want to look at this one more time because it is forcing. Actually, maybe not. He, it's possible he could go here. Because if, if I do this, he can take my... Oh, no, it's... Uh, yeah, he could probably just take that. Yeah, so that might not even work. Yeah, so let's scrap that idea. Yeah, I think I might take on, on C3 and then play C5. And then C5. Okay, I don't know what he's thinking about here. Okay, no knights on the board. So, threatening c4. B6. 
big threat. So he has to move the queen or play c4 himself. From what I can see. If he does move the queen somewhere, not sure where, somewhere though, probably I would still play c4. Then again, that kills my bishop. Kills my bishop. Maybe maybe he won't. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. So let's just say he moves like, I don't know if I want to play c4. I know uh, it's a tough position. I don't know about that. I I I, I fix his c three pawn, but it's it's easily defendable by him. What a what a tough game, or tough position anyway. It's only moved twelve. It's only moved twelve, but it feels like we've been, like moved thirty. Okay, and and if he plays c four. Okay, he, yeah, he, he does just play queen f2. Okay. I could reroute my bishop. And then I could blockade that, which honestly is kind of cool. But I guess he could play rook g3. He could play rook g3 here. Hmm. Okay, uh, okay, uh, I am going to play c4 with great hesitation. I know it kills my bishop, but um, I'm hoping I can, like, these are weak, both pawns are weak now here, so I might be able to bring in my queen and do something. Um, yeah, I might just start with this. So, like, if he, if he brings in his king, I don't know. I don't know, but I couldn't think of better. Maybe maybe I can pop into here. But I don't know. He just moves he moves the bishop, but it's something. So queen of queen uh like queen of five, king d one. I didn't I didn't have any other any other idea of what to do. What if I, can I, what if I did this? Okay, what about like a5 right here? That's not the worst idea. 
this gets kind of weak, could get piled up on. Trying to set up also e4 at some point. Okay, what's this about? Okay, so again. Okay, and then, then what? Oh, is this, he's some type of threat here? So. I just I just let him let him do whatever he wants there. Um, hmm. F five a thing? <laughs> that, that, well, if he ignores it though, that might just make things worse for me. Like he just plays H five. I have fewer breaks. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't really want to try to break here. Um, but then I have queen f5. Interesting. I could also go queen f5 first and then play that. But may, may, yeah, maybe I'll go f6 first and then I'm threatening queen f5. At least it's a plan. Could be a terrible one though. It really weakens g6, so I better think about that. g6 is, yeah, that, that could, that, could be a problem maybe it really it weakens g6 uh, f6 h5 takes yeah i don't like that too risky yeah i could go here first though which how would that change things yeah No, whatever. I'm just going to play here. I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. This guy's 1,500 blitz. He's beaten me two out of three games. Okay. Yeah, so I was just going to ignore this. I, I don't think if he takes, it shouldn't be a worry. I mean, he, he he can go here, but my bishop is too strong. So I just ignore that. And I just keep keep doing something here. <laughs> hmm. Wonder where, where I went wrong this game. He stopped all of my plans. And I not that I had many plans, so
if he beats me again, three out of four is a pretty good result when he's 150 points slower. Okay. Should I sack a pawn? No. I shan't. Well, it doesn't look good. Just getting outplayed. Okay, I am going to sack a pawn. I have no other ideas. What if I, can I go queen a4? Queen a4, then you may have e4. No, but even so, that's interesting. I'm gonna try it out. I didn't even see queen a4 when I played b4, but I just figured like, I, I was thinking like the open a file, maybe I can do something, but. Um, I can't just sit around and let him kill me. Yeah, so if e4, probably I still just go, go a, b. Um, I don't think I want to take there on c2. I don't think that makes sense. No, I think I would go a, b. So that's an interesting move, queen a4. Um, yeah, how's he going to deal with that? So let's say bishop b2. Then then he loses the bishop. Okay, yeah, that okay, that shouldn't change anything. I do think I I, sh I probably need to take it. Um, what if I ignore it though? Can I afford to ignore it? check like I might be able to ignore it but I think I'll take it because he hasn't really changed his situation here like maybe there's maybe this is scary but I don't know my bishop is uh, okay I will I will I will take it but this bishop it's so hard to attack this defense it's it, you need so much material <laughs> you know even if he doubles up on the h file he has nothing this is just way too strong wait i lied i lied how come how come why did i oh god am i just dead now did i did i <laughs> shit i take back everything i said um oh but i, I might be able to move the rook yeah, of course he plays it after a bit of a think. Okay, so I might be able to move my rook somewhere though. And then after check, he has nothing. See, I'm correct. I'm correct. It, 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 it's just, it's very strong that a single bishop can defend so well. So I could move the rook. I don't think I want to move this pawn for a flight square because it's pointless. He, that's just, yeah, so. And it helps support it. So we're just going to move the rook somewhere. I think I think here. I think here. Um, just because this file, there might be something going on here. And I don't want to put it on a light square. Okay. A minute 45 left. 
Bit of a weird slow think when you play Queen H4 though. Mm -hmm. Like it's the only move. No, but at least now I have play. Like, I'm happy now. Because the position was just... I was just slowly getting worse and worse. But yeah, I'm telling you, just a single a, th a single bishop, like a single fiend kettle bishop. It's so hard to to attack the, the king behind it. Uh, I'm not sure if something like f5 is fast enough for him. It is it is kind of scary. Ding, ding, ding. Like that that is scary. Yeah, this is a threat cuz he's threatening f6. Yeah. That's a problem. Okay, that's also a problem. I can force it the queen trade though. If he does that. Okay, we'll do that. I think. We do that. So if he takes, then I can force the queen trade. Now, do I want to do that? Doesn't he have more pawns than I do? He'll be up a pawn. I don't know. This guy, this guy's too good. This guy, I, I, okay. I'm getting, I, 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 okay. I think things are fair. I, I, okay. I'll go check here. Just hoping I can survive, but you know, I'll go for this. Because yeah, this is scary. <sighs> I can't even do that. Maybe I push. Uh, the, the way this guy's playing, I, I actually... It does feel weird now, I have to say. Yeah, I, I, I was slightly suspicious before, but I'm getting more suspicious by the <laughs> by the second. The way he's playing is suspicious to me. Yeah. Okay, so so King F two. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm going to block this guy after. Um, okay, so if I take on A one and then push here, I might be able to play Queen F six. Okay, I, I'll go for it. It's the only my only my only shot. And then Queen F six. Technically, I could take it as well. Maybe, I wonder if I should just take it. Maybe the best move is just taking it. Because it seems to... I mean, it seems safe enough. I guess I'll just take it. Nope. Okay. Um... Um, I'm thinking Queen C3. You know, this is okay. I might hold oh, that. No, that's that's too dangerous. Um, I guess I guess I go here. Yeah, this is still very dangerous. This is still very dangerous here. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's say he stays on the seventh, seventh rank. One of these two squares. I mean, I'm only up the exchange. Not, I, I'm not even up material. It's actually equal material. But yeah, I'm getting very weird vibes in this game. Okay, yeah, this is a threat again. I, I do still have queen f6. Um, hmm. Actually, I might, I might come here. Oh, there's, there's still dangers. There's still dangers because he can go back to h5. Okay, I better move. What does the chat say? How can I how can I rematch the position pieces in mind? In mind? Well, I'm not sure what you mean. In mind. But I'm, I'm minimizing chat because I got to focus now. So yeah, we have to watch out. Actually, no, this is still not a problem. Because I can still just run like I did before. Like the brave man I am. But this is now a threat. So. Um, I could go here or I could push. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully it's not a, hopefully I'm not blundering here. Okay, still dangerous, still a dangerous position. Uh, he, he can grab this, but now then my queen can start playing. Oh crap, this, no, I can take it with a pawn, but scary, scary than, than check. And then he doesn't have, then he can take here though. See, he's getting a lot of play, but then I have, I have queen f6. I'm surviving, but I'm not thriving. As I say, material is equal here. And of course, that's what he's going to play now. Nope, he goes for that. The only problem with this is I can no longer play queen f6. But I have a check. Um, not that it does me much good, but then I, I, I get queen f5, which might help protect. Okay, he defends that way. I could, yeah, let's just let's just take this quick blunder check, but should be fine. Threatening check here, which I might not want, but then again, I can go queen f5. Zigzagry zoo. Oh, I heard a sound. Thanks for the sub. Ideal approach. Two subs. Wow, cool. Yeah, but I am minimizing the chat again because I got to focus. I only have 39 seconds. Um, but yeah, things are looking better and better by the second. And my opponent is getting into time trouble as well. Which is uh, helpful. Yeah, yeah, that is that is annoying, but I am just going to give a check. And then um, I don't know if I want this pawn. Maybe I, maybe I go here. Okay, how, how scary is his attack? I don't know. I wonder if I should just take that, but this is interesting too. And then, I don't know if I want I don't know if I want that. I don't know. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, so tempting to just take C2, right? Like it's a, it's another pawn, but no, I'm going to increase the pressure. Okay, I kind of forgot that his rook is on this. I did forget that or just not see it. So if he takes on d4, I don't know how I want to recapture because if I take it with the rook, I've got f4 for my for my rook. But I also like having these protecting one another. Um, I guess the queen check is is not bad, but also having the queen here, it's still attacking and it's pinning. So it's a tough choice on how I would want to recapture. Check. Um, but then I can win. Yeah, maybe I just do that. Maybe maybe I take with the queen. 
I might just take with the queen because uh, because I'm going to grab the the c2 pawn after anyways. Yeah, but it's it's a close call. If you told me I'll give you another minute by taking with the rook, I I will do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll I'll take with the queen. But then again, again, the downside of this is his his uh, his bishop can, if I'm not careful, can take here. Okay, so he pushes. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to take here now. Oh shit! Shit, this is a problem here. Okay, do I have time for this? Oh god, that's a big problem. Oh God, yeah, I think he's winning now. I screwed up. I think he's winning. Maybe I can perpet, but. Here now. Yeah, he's winning, eh? No, I can, I can, I can go here. I can go here. Oh no, it's losing though. Oh my God. I, I'm not surprised he won though. I might be able, okay. I can triangulate into this. Okay. If I can get him a check here. Oh, it's so close, eh? I might be able to even just sack here too. I just need more time. Okay, he has to go there. He screwed up. He screwed up. Because I'm, I'm covering f6 now. Now I can go bishop f6. Yeah. Okay. Stressful. It's not good for my health, man. <laughs> oh. Okay, game's not over. Stay vigilant. Okay, he resigns. Okay, opening up chat. That felt weird, though. The way he played felt weird. Oh, that, was, that got a little wild at the end. It, it was boring, and then it got wild. Okay, just catching up on chat now. Thank you, Rafa. Ideal says, I play good enough, but I do silly mistake. Because of this, I lose you win a game. Stop making silly mistakes. Yeah, you probably need to slow down. Like, what time controls are you playing? You got to slow down, take your time. Okay. Oh, lots of people in the chat. So, I'm, I'm a rook. Yeah, at the end, I'm, I'm fine. But that, that got very dangerous. I, I, that was, I was very close to losing there. Um, okay, so let's take a look at that from the top without the engine and then with the engine. Um, yeah, the bird, I just don't face enough and I always forget, I always forget what I play. I think G6 is actually what I play against it. Um, but I just remember this triangle setup. I think that's against the bird. But then I never know what to do with a light squared bishop. I always have this same problem every time I play against the bird. Um, actually, you know what? It's all coming flooding back to me as soon as just now, all of a sudden. 
I think I actually, I do do this Kingside Fianchetto. And I probably do kind of do a triangle setup and the bishop does stay behind the thing. But I know, yeah, it's, I don't even know if I play d5. Probably I do. Probably I do. Okay. So nothing fancy in the opening. Um, yeah, I had this idea of, of bishop a6, just trading off light squared bishops. Um, I don't know if that would really have been necessary, though, because his light squared bishop isn't really that fantastic. It does have potential here later, but um, it was an interesting idea. But then he plays queen e2 as soon as I mention it. And uh, h4 was uh, was interesting. Now, he played knight e5, but... I thought h5 was interesting because I'm not sure. Like, if knight takes, rook takes, g, h, and then knight g5. Um, I wasn't sure about that. Maybe I'm still good there because he has no rook. But my h pawn is going to fall. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Then, then I have knight f6. Maybe I'm holding there. Yeah. But it scared me a little bit. Um, yeah. Took on c3. I think taking on c3 was was fine. And then I played c4, which I was not sure about. Very hesitant about it. But I, I didn't. I thought here for a long time. I didn't know what else to do. I had no plan. Can you guys think of a plan here? And while you guys think of a plan in the chat, I'm going to load this up in CPT. Because I had no plan. Yeah, g6 is my repertoire move. Okay, so nobody said any, anything in chat. Um, yeah, so I played c4. And um, bringing up my queen, I have a couple of entry points. I, I Again, here I had no I had no real plan. I, um, I, I, but it actually worked out because uh, he played bishop a3. And then again here, I still had no plan. I, I didn't know what to do. And I got desperate, and so I decided to sack a pawn, which is probably not a good move. I'm guessing it's not a good move. Um, it takes, takes, takes. I, I had queen. Well, maybe, maybe it was still would have still would have worked though, because yeah, queen a four. I'm hitting. I'm hitting two pieces. Um, but then he can also take on e seven, and ugh, I'm not really getting too much out of this. So I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't really believe in it, but I had no other plan. And I was tired of doing nothing. But he took... Um, sorry, uh, yeah, he took, but then, then I saw queen a4. And um, yeah, here I wasn't sure if... I wasn't sure about this. Because uh, I, I, I might just still be holding here. I wasn't sure about this. Maybe I should have just taken the bishop. But I didn't want to take the risk because suddenly the position has play now. And um, yeah, I didn't want to take the risk of taking on a3 and then... Actually, yeah, that would... No, 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 that was still fine there. 
But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I could have held that. Maybe that might have been taking an A three might have just been winning. <laughs> yeah, it's too scary though. Um, and yeah, I just recognized just how hard it is to attack the Fianchetto king like this. So um, I didn't spend too much time trying to worry about defending and I, I found the one move. I did miss this, so, so, so that was a mistake. I should have played rookie eight. No, wait. Yeah, rookie eight. I should have played rookie eight then. I, it's still scary though. Maybe I, maybe I am losing here. F five. That's very dangerous. Yeah, this is this is still very dangerous. I don't know. I uh, I might just be losing here. Well. It's 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 not simple because I am threatening this idea again, which is similar to what actually happened in the game. Okay. Yeah, this was this was this was scary too. Because again, he's he's threatening, he's threatening me. Um, and then at this point, I I I, I think I had just a few seconds left. Um, yeah, this this is very scary. I was considering Bishop E five. But then F6, I didn't like. I'm going to turn the heat on. I'm getting cold. Yeah, so if, if Bishop E5, I didn't like F6. Yeah, I think that would be losing. Yeah, so I risked it. Yeah, then then I was just trying to get my queen on the F file. And so I think, yeah, that's why I this was a screw up. Um, so I think, so King G1, maybe like I, I can I can probably force a draw. But that might be all I can. Well, I also, yeah, then maybe I could have sacked the queen. No, I couldn't even. Yeah, so that might just be a draw there had he played king g1. Yeah, it might be just be a draw there. But he screwed up here and then, yeah. Okay, let's look at that with the engine. Somebody ran it already. Um, so from the top key points, so it, computer doesn't love B six slight inaccuracy here. Why? Apparently because of 95. I don't know. I don't know if this is a big point con of contention. Um, it's preferring to put the bishop on e6 or g4. Weird. Weird. What's the actual theory here? C two two moves two games of c5. I considered it, but I wasn't sure about it. Like uh, I guess I could play a5 here. But, um, okay. And 
Yeah, maybe it makes some sense because the bishop is... It's not really aggressively poised on b7, staring at my own pawn. It's not like a bad move, but... Yeah, I was considering trading it off. Once he forces me to, like, let's just say knight bd... Or, yeah, let's say knight bd7, let's just say h3. I was considering that... But I don't think these moves matter so much, honestly. Um, so this is a blunder. That's that's too harshly annotated. That's way too harshly. It goes from minus 0.6 to plus 0.6. Come on. You're going to call that a blunder? Call it a mistake if you want. There's no way that's a blunder. Apparently g4 is the problem. Wow, this is pretty ridiculous. G4, knight take G4, queen G2. Oh, no, no, it's not queen G2. It's H5. Dude, yeah, there's no way that's a blunder, though, but... Um, why, like... Oh, no, then it wants to take on G6. Oh, okay, that's... that's, that's I can't believe how white just created an attack like that. That's kind of ridiculous. Wow, plus two here. We we don't have time to. We can't even do this to defend h seven. Yeah, that's a that's a ridiculous attack. Okay, the bird. Yeah, holy crap! I can't believe that came out of nowhere. So because of that. Um, yeah, G, G4 is dangerous, so we can't... Well, I guess we, we can take... But where did I screw up here? Um, yeah, go, coming back was, was actually a mistake. So knight h6 or knight f6? Or sorry, uh, the other knight to f6. Okay, so yeah, that's not pleasant for black to have to defend. So better was c5. Because we are threatening to trap his bishop. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of kind of a dangerous, kind of a dangerous opening. Yeah, maybe that might be another reason why not to put the bishop on this diagonal. Bishop it better helps defend against such threats. Like G four is not playable, you know, with this bishop here. So keep an eye out on that in the future. Yeah, but this seems very normal, right? If you're not familiar with these attacking ideas in this line from White. Um, it also doesn't love that I took the knight, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, that Lee chess is being way too harsh with these annotations. You know, it goes from minus 0.7 to plus 0.6. It's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not a huge deal. Um, you know, it's suggesting to soften things up with C5 or H5 slow down his attack. I considered h5, but I'm not so comfortable with it. But I did consider it. Um, taking on c3 was, was correct. c5 was correct. c4 was, was actually okay. Now, yeah, in this position, I didn't know what to do. Uh, the, let's look at better moves than c4 but c4 was actually fine bishop c8 which i did consider but i i wasn't sure what i'm like what is the point oh eight then h5 and then we control the light squares. they're kind of like that that's kind of an interesting idea um what else does it do Well, I think that's just the main the main point of it. And if he brings his bishop in, yeah, this is, so this I'm not sure about. Or no, not G4 yet. But what if he prepares this? I guess I, I guess I can always fight him on the light squares. Interesting. And it it even says that we can just do. Uh, Oh, plus, yeah, plus we have this. Okay. 
So the bishop maybe is better rerouted on this diagonal. It seems to be a recurring idea from the computer. Um, I played queen d7, computer doesn't like it. Again, it wants to reboot the bishop or break on f6. Yeah, I didn't know what to do here either. H5 is yeah, now a threat. So again, so how do, how does this change things now? Uh, now we have a now we have a discovery winning a pawn. Okay. This was all good. Yeah, so B4 was the best move by far here. And I didn't I didn't fully calculate it it out, but I, I was kind of desperate to get something going and it was actually excuse me the best move. So so that was good. Um regarding the queen takes a3. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. Either either way was Oh no no, this was a blunder. I needed to take with the f pawn. The reason I didn't do that was because I thought he's just going to take the h pawn. So why not keep the h pawn? I mean like why not keep a pawn here? I thought this was a problem. But apparently we have h6. Yeah, that's not obvious. And then we have rook f7. That's not obvious. To me, it's not obvious. <laughs> so I took, yeah, I took with the, with the h pawn. Hmm. So this was actually a blunder. But this is, yeah, this is not a simple, it's not a super simple position. Best move is e4, protecting the, a, the bishop on a3, or king f2, so that when I take, I don't take with the tempo. Plus, he can bring the other rook in that. Actually, that's the main reason. Then I can take here. Or even just check, and then... And then this wins. Yeah. Okay. So I had a minute 44 at this point. This was all good. I'll do this again. Yeah, D4 was best move. Okay, I, I thought I thought this was like I thought this was really dangerous, but apparently like every move is just winning here for black. It didn't feel like it. It felt very dangerous. It felt very dangerous. But I guess we had I guess it was better than I thought. Yeah, so here I thought king g2 might hold the draw, but apparently it doesn't. Why not? We do it this way. And then we have queen e2. Queen d1. Yeah, we we have multiple ways here, but most of them just repeat and then Okay, so it's not not simple. Oh god, that's how you do oh, oh you get that. Uh this little snake. That little snake idea. Oh that would have been yeah, that was a nice uh, little idea. That's a nice little idea. Cute. So we had we would have been okay there had I seen that. That's yeah, that's a good little resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. Okay. But I did it this way. And yeah. Ooh, okay. I'm tired. Who's still here? Who's still here in the chat?
But yeah, the way he played, it felt a little weird. It felt a bit weird to me. The move times and uh, some of the ways that he dealt with my ideas immediately. I'm not going to block him, but it felt a little weird. So tired. Oh. Okay, um, I'm going to run a poll. If anyone is still watching, it was active before, but then it died out. Okay, I'm going to run a poll to, on what I should do next. So the options will be classical. Um, Rapid, I don't really want to do rapid. Um, puzzles or blindfold. Don't really want to do blindfold either. So starting the poll, please place a vote. It's anonymous. We have one vote, one vote in. Two votes, two votes in. Uh, uh, I'll wait for one or, one or two more. Looks like just two people in the stream though. Three votes, cool. Can we get a fourth? Do we have a fourth bidder out there? Yeah, we do. Cool. Thank you for voting, by the way. I do appreciate it. And I'm, I'm going to end the poll in about 20 seconds here. So if there's a fifth person out there, which I don't think there is, you might want to vote right now. I'm going to end it in about 10 seconds. Five votes. We got it. We got a fifth vote. Cool. Okay. So survey says... Rapid, overwhelmingly rapid, uh, with one vote, classical. Okay, so I'm not going to bother changing the stream title, but I will play a rapid game because that's what you guys voted for. So here we go. Rapid, 2136 opponent, 669 games for him. Oh, my jaw feels stiff. Uh, I must have clenched it or something during that last game because it's uh, it was fine. And now it's stiff. Okay, anyways, we have a Roy. What type of Roy are we gonna get? Okay, this is the Archangel, right? Now, do I like the castle first or C3? We can almost get that same position that we had in that that first classical game we had. Um, I'm actually going to castle. This could transpose though, but okay, I, I will castle. Cause I, I think that's my rapid hard move. And this is this is I don't think this is actually the Archangel. I think I think this is the uh it's a the delayed classical variation. And uh yeah, I think this is actually the main line. Now it's almost like a cozio. It's like a cozio cla classical hybrid. Yeah, he's playing this he's playing this properly. Where do we want to go? The eternal question of C2 versus B3. Normally they're equally fine. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, yeah, I, I'm not so... I know that this is a good move, though, knight g7, but I'm not very well acquainted with it. I don't know. I, bishop g4 could be annoying. I might want to play h3. Okay, so... Do I want to take? I don't think this is right. I don't think this is right. But I burned a minute already. Yeah, I just don't think this is right. But um, what I mean is I'm skeptical. I wouldn't have played it if I didn't think it. Yeah, because I think he just takes. I think he just takes with a king, and he's happy to do so. He's happy to do so. Maybe I could have played bishop g5 instead. That might have been better. But he's the way that he's thinking. Okay, he just blinked. I don't like that he blinked. Okay. Oh, you know what? Okay, so this is. I think this is dangerous to take because there is a there's a similar opening. It's not the same opening, I don't think. But where rook f8 becomes a problem on because of f2. Yeah, I, I don't think it's the same opening. It's a different opening. And I, that's one of the reasons why he puts a knight here. Um, so that his knight doesn't block it. Because if I go rookie one check... Uh, sorry, not rookie one. If, if I take and then rook f8 and I retreat somewhere... Oh, no, no. It's a different position, though. It's a different position I'm thinking of. Because the knight is here and then he goes here and, and then f2 becomes weak. So it's not the same position. There's another position where taking here is a problem, but here I might actually be able to get away with it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, there's a similar position where you don't want to you don't want to do it because f2 becomes weak. Oh, maybe maybe it is this line. No, I don't think it's this line because this is looking like I can just you know keep that. So maybe Bishop G five might do that. Okay, Bishop G five. And if he takes on F three, do I want to take the knight first? Hmm. Oh shit, F3. I can bring this back though. I, I, I have, oh no, I can't because then he has H, he has H. Okay. Yeah, it's not the same line, but it's similar, similar properties. Similar properties to it. I, might, I'm, I think I'm going to have to play here. Yeah, I don't want these checks. It doesn't lead to anything. Okay, this guy keeps blinking. I don't like that. I don't like his blinking. Stop blinking. Okay, let's, let's bring this here. This knight is dominated. This knight is... Not much better. Yeah. It's still, I gotta go Zen mode now. He's blinking so much. It's so, fr it's so annoying. Um,
He wants to go here. That's annoying. That's annoying. It's very annoying. Very annoying. I don't know what to do about it, Rook D3. Time is low. Burned all my time. <laughs> Burned all my time. Yeah, there was, this game was not good time management. Hard adjustment from classical to, to rapid. It's not looking good. Not looking good here for me. Jeez. 
check. Do I get? Do I lose that? That could have been a problem. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, yeah. I, I don't have time now either. <sighs> Game over now. I, I thought too long. This was a time management problem. Yeah, I thought way too long in the opening, unfortunately. Drop the pawn too. Um, maybe I don't recapture. Yeah, I threw, I threw this game. I threw this game in the toilet. I just I played it way too slow. Oh, that transition from classical to rapid was not a good one. <sighs> It was not a not a good game because I kind of just threw it away with the the time management. Might have a draw now. I think I have a draw now. Can I go for a win? I do have a draw, but do I have a win? I have a draw, but no. Well, can I calculate quick enough? Let's see. I might even have a win there. Because then I can go here. But then he can sack a piece. So I'm just going to go for the draw. I don't have enough time. Yeah. That might be winning, though. It might have been winning had I gone bishop a6. But then he can he can sack a rook. Um, and then I would have flagged. I would have flagged. So this is the right decision. But had I, if I, had I had more time, that might have been winning bishop a6. And draw is a good result for me. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yeah, that was terrible. I just, uh, I played way too slow. Ugh. Um, but yeah, so he, he really screwed up there. But as, as I was about, as I was saying, um, he, where was it? No, uh. Yeah, here. Was it here? I also wonder if, um, no, because, uh, no, it would have been here. I think it was here, right? Yeah, I was thinking bishop a6. Because I'm threatening mate in two, you know? So I think he has to play rook f1, sack the rook. You know. I don't think he can run. I wonder if I could run from it. Could I run from it? Check. Oh, he might just bring this rook back up. So check. I don't think I can run from it. I feel like there's a mate. 
Um, so yeah, probably I would have had to take and then King G2. Um, yeah, even, even, even then I'm skeptical that it's winning. Yeah. So let's look at that from the, from the top. Um, yeah. So I thought for a bit here too, I think like a minute or something. Cause I was think cause I was thinking like C3, if, if he plays, if he plays knight f6, then, then again, d4 is winning. So I was tempted to do that, um, but I, I, I cast it because I think that's my repertoire move. And then he plays knight g7, which I do believe is the best move. Oh, I remember where I spent so much time. I spent it, I spent it here because, yeah, there, there's, there's a line, but I think it's when the knight is on f6 that we don't want to, we don't want to take the pawn because rook f8 is a trap well well the trap is the trap is uh taking the pawn because of rook f8 and then knight g5 i think no wait because yeah because of uh so so the bishop moves somewhere and then knight g is that is that it no 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 it's okay maybe it's not even that it might be the check that's bad Oh, I forget, but it's something like that. I there's some line similar to this where the um, you don't want to take here because of rook f8 and then knight g5, and usually I think it's because the rook had given a check here. So it wasn't this position, but that's yeah, that burned a lot of my time. Um, here I think I'm I am just up a pawn. But he does get compensation. I don't know if it's full compensation though. But I just played too slowly with all of this. Um, and he, I, he had a yeah. And here he's like he's way better. And and rook d three was I didn't know what to do. I spent time on that. I didn't know how to deal with rook rook d three. And here he missed. Where was it? Here, here he missed knight, knight h4. No, never mind, he didn't. But I thought he had it earlier. Yeah, here. Yeah, well, here I was thinking knight h4 still. But maybe taking the pawn is not so bad. And, uh, and then here he got sloppy. Right here, when he played knight c2. Yeah, he needed to like play rook rook eight or e either rook two to f seven or bring his king down, but he couldn't he couldn't have allowed this because now now he can't stop the draw. Okay, let's look at that with the engine. Somebody ran it already. Oh, I was winning here. I bet you. Oh, I know. I'm not sure what that is. And I, I was winning at the end. I, yeah, I wasn't sure. Okay, there's a lot of mistakes this game. Wow. Okay, so first of all... Yeah, I was thinking C3. I was thinking C3. We, we would have had a similar position. No, I think I think casting is fine. It is the main line. Um, and this was a blunder. Okay, what the hell is Lee Chess doing? It says D4 is a mistake, but D4 is the best move. Maybe Knight G5 is better, but this is, yeah, Lee Chess is way too quick to annotate. I wish you could almost just turn off its annotations. Can you? You can turn them off on the board, but I want them off on the the game notation as well. The game moves. 
Yeah, I guess Night G5 was even stronger for some reason. And then Queen H5. Okay. So Knight G5 was even stronger than D4. But no way that's a... I mean, mistake? Maybe call it an inaccuracy. Um, it didn't want me taking on E5. Yeah, I wasn't 100% sure. Again, Knight G5 is still, still strong. I guess that's a downside to putting the knight on E7. It doesn't control the queen from going to H5. Keep it, I'll keep that in mind in the future. Yeah, and so this was safe to take. And this was all relatively fine, but I played it a little slow. Here I still had five minutes though, so it wasn't it wasn't the end of the world. But then I spent I spent a long time on taking here because I, I think this is no yeah this is when I was scared of rook d3 but I didn't know what to do about it so taking on b5 was the best move and knight a, then knight a, so I did play it correctly but I, it took me a long time so yeah I played this perfectly but too slow this was a this was a blunder apparently. Three moves are better. Taking with the knight. I don't know what the difference. Oh, interesting. Yeah. The reason taking with the knight is better is this bishop can now retreat to C on the along this, this diagonal. So it can go to C4, B3, A2. So it clears the way to retreat. That's interesting. Um, also better was bishop h3. But that's not so obvious why. Um, or bishop g4. I don't know. This just seems like... I guess he can't play that so quickly. I don't know. To me, out of those options, this makes the most sense. Okay. Um, and then I missed a move here. I played knight d2. There were many better moves, but rook f d1. Okay, that's that's a little bit hard to play. Giving up f3. Oh, and then our knight comes in. Okay, I see. Yeah, still, okay, still a little scary though, because, <laughs> um, but we, yeah, we, we could, okay, it makes sense. Should have been more active. Yeah, I can't just sit around. Like, what? I can't just sit around with the rook on the, the f file. What a waste, right? So, yeah, rook f d rook f d one makes sense. Um, and yeah, here I was in time trouble. This is actually a blunder. Knight f four is apparently the best move. For some reason. Oh, that's why. Okay, very, very specific to the position. <laughs> so he could have trapped my my minor pieces that way. Yeah, very, that's just a very tactical reason. Um, this, yeah, this was a blunder and uh, so, I, so I'm, I'm winning now. I wasn't sure, but so bishop a6 was winning and he would have to sack but i thought i wouldn't have enough time to play this out because this seemed like a long grind very long grind and it probably is or well, maybe not we get one pawn right away but no i wouldn't have been able to convert this in time no way i had I had a minute left i wouldn't i wouldn't be able to do that um so that's a bishop a6, but there was there was actually a mate in 12 here. Check. And I, I, I considered this, but then what? Yeah, I, I smelled the wind, but I just didn't I didn't want to risk it with my clock. So then bishop f5. Doesn't have to be f5, but that's the fastest way. Because we're threatening mate in one. 
and then he and he can't return. Yeah. And then he has to sack a piece. He has to sack a piece. In fact, wait, can, how, how does he even This is actually the, the the best way for him to to delay it. Yeah, so hmm, that was a way to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bishop f5. Why not bishop here? Well, because then his other rook can also flow through. This is actually a draw now. Wow. So it's, yeah, very specific to the position, but we cut off the rooks. Okay. And there was a mate in 13, which is rook c7. This will just, oh, this just repeats the position. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, so that just repeats the position. Okay, interesting. Okay, ladies and germs, I think I'm going to end it there. Just a two hour stream today. I've been doing longer streams, like three hours long streams lately, but yeah, my jaw is uh, suddenly got stiff after that, the previous game, not this one, but the game before this one. I must have really been clenching my my teeth. It must have been very stressful for me. So as a recap for t this little session, um, I had a, a quick miniature in the first classical game. And then um, the second game, which was a, a nail biter or a jaw clencher, um, which I won. And then a, I drew a rapid game. So not a bad, not a bad turnout or not a bad result rather. Yeah, that'll be it for me today. I will be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this uh, and you haven't subscribed, well, feel free. And I'll see you